Uh, there is something called the Paradise Papers. They were hacked and obtained illegally. These are documents about the money dealings of the rich and the famous and the elites around the world. Some big names are involved on your screen. Uh, the Queen, Bono, Wilbur Ross, Gary Cohn, amongst others. All right, Judge, uh, I don't think there's anything illegal going on here. For example, there's nothing illegal about having money in the Cayman Islands Correct. or in Panama or Correct. in the Channel Islands, right? Correct. There may be political problems for the president's inner circle because the president himself has ranted and raved against the concept of parking cash outside the United States. Uh, but there's a couple of points here. One is, and I'm sorry to say this, and you've been pounding this into me for a long time, there's no privacy left. There's no secrecy left. No. These people who are some of the world's richest and most powerful people are paying a premium for privacy and secrecy, and the bank's lawyers allowed this stuff, or some lawyers somewhere along allowed this to get out. There's no more privacy or secrecy. So do you pay taxes on the interest earned on bank accounts in uh, offshore places. You of should. course you do, yes, you should. if you report them. Yes. The bank will not report it, and the bank will not hold back anything for capital gains. It will give you all the interest to which you're entitled, so it is an opportunity for shenanigans. For example, suppose you park a million dollars uh, in there, and it's producing, well, suppose you park a billion dollars in there, it's producing very nice interest, and you consider that interest a loan to you rather than income, which is what a lot of folks do. A loan is not no. into question. Is you ever going to pay that loan back? Is the government ever going to learn about that loan? If it wasn't income, you don't have to report it. If it, it, it's a loan, it's not income. So look, there's opportunities for a lot of shenanigans. We have seen none with respect to these folks. But, if, um, forgive me for interrupting, if I parked a million dollars, whatever it is, parked a yeah. million dollars in the Cayman Islands, don't I have to report to the, uh, to the government, the IRS or somebody, yeah, I got a million dollars over there? You do. Right. But there is no way for the IRS to verify what you say because of bank secrecy laws in the place where you parked it. You yes. could even yes. open up an account under an assumed name. You could open up an account under the name of... Judge Napolitano. Betty Windsor. <laughs> oh, my, well, well, or there's already an account under that name. <laughs> but, okay, so I have the account, and I tell the IRS I've got the account there. Right. And if I say, well, there's no income from it, and there was no interest on it, they can surely ask me, well, really, Mr. Varney? You got a million dollars, and it doesn't pay you anything? They would say it, that, wouldn't it they? It would raise a red flag, but there would be no way, lawfully, for the IRS to verify whether or not you had received income yeah. and, in fact, what you had received because you're paying for anonymity and for secrecy and for privacy. Uh, you agree with this one? This is part of a global movement to closing down the Cayman Islands banking operation, closing down the Channel Islands operation, and anywhere else that's where yeah. it banks secrecy. I can't imagine offshore. that Her Majesty would permit the islands over which she rules. But if America wanted to really mess them up, we could. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, look at, you look could. at how, we, well, look at how America that. destroyed the secrecy and privacy in the, the Swiss, Swiss banks. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. I mean, they sued Didn't UBS, right? The yes. IRS did. Now, look, there could Hillary very Clinton well up. be a political problem for the president's people, but no, yes. not a legal one, at least not from what we've seen so far.